Hello, today I would like to show you my simple project of a harmonic drive. As always, it is 3D printed except of uh, bearings, screws, nuts and things like that. New thing about my project, which I even did not use in 6-axis robot, are shoulder screws. I use them to mount the bearing of the wave generator. Uh, inside of the harmonic drive we have the flexible spline, which is the most important part and the hardest to print. I tried many times, always changing the diameter by 0.2 or 0.1 just to fit perfectly between the wave generator and the circular spline. So this is like this. Uh, while printing uh, this part it is uh, to, re to be remembered not to print seam at the same line. So it's like this. Uh, I printed it, but uh, I just I for forgot to change the settings. Uh, you have to pick the random jumps to the next layer. Uh, maybe it will hold, but uh, if I made a few of them in the past and some just broke on the on that seam. Uh, so uh, this one is uh, printed at random jumps and does not look very good. But it was my first try and after changing some settings it was uh, good and it's inside the already made uh, harmonic drive. Mm. I also uh, had to change the thickness of the flexible parts as three lines of 0.5 mm nozzle made it too hard to squeeze. Optimum was 1 mm, I had to make, ma make it uh, one, uh, 0. 95 in program as I don't know why my printer wanted to make still three lines instead of two even if the settings was one millimeter so this this one was printed with uh, like uh, uh, this shell is uh, 1.5 millimeter and this is very hard to squeeze probably it would broke or the motor would not have enough power to turn it the second one which I repaired the random jumps and uh, also repaired this shell. It's one millimeter and I think this is enough. It will take all the torque needed. But the only part I had to change a few times is this like inside the diameter. You know, so this, this uh, was uh, changed by a fraction of millimeters like few few times. Uh, thanks to that, uh, you know, this makes the harmonic drive gearbox uh, with zero black backslash. So now you want to know how it runs, probably. So maybe now the test run. A bit of a zoom on the tip. So, as you can see, the teeth are like jumping to the, their next position every half of the full rotation. It is because it's made with uh, 162 teeth outside and 160 teeth of the flex spline. This gives us ratio of a 80 on the output arm, which is, and this is the arm, output arm, ratio 80. And uh, if we hold this arm and just rotate the body, then the ratio is different, different because uh, it's uh, 162 
divided by 2 and give us uh, 81 on this body. Probably some of you would like to see inside of it, but uh, there's mu not, not much to see. Hard to get out. <laughs> so, those are the bearings which I used. And uh, as I said before, I uh, this time I used the shoulder screws for the for them to sit. It's sitting kind of better. Inside, of course, the flexible spline. Yeah, you don't see the correction of the diameter, but it's a little uh, jump over here. Which I was changing this the same diameter in here and the jump over here. I had to change it uh, more for a 0 0.5 millimeters. So this is harmonic drive in Inventor. Mm, I will show you how it looks inside. At the moment it has uh, handle and 3D printed parts just to move by hand so for just for tests. Those, those are the bearings inside. Uh, here's connectors, bearings and every, every this stuff just for tests. Uh, at the end I will be doing something like that. This is the uh, lead shine motor. I will just use one connector to those four holes and then I will check if it will hold the torque and it will, if it will work properly. So as I said before I had to change this diameter there and this here. I don't know, don't know why, but uh, if I set one millimeter thick, it prints three lines, and three lines in nozzle one uh, 0 0.5 millimeters is still 1.5 millimeters. So I had to overgo this and make something like notation. Um, yeah. So it is 0 0.95 millimeters. The cutout and jump here just for the second diameter, which is uh, important to uh, make the good connection between holding bearings and the outer. Um, spline. So so this is the parameter I was changing few times. As you see it's not big difference. As this is module 1 uh, TIFF it's uh, kind of small and this is just 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 millimeters going out and I had to move like through slices to get get to the right one. So few tries in the past. So not very difficult, just few parts. Hold the bearings from the both sides. Hold here. Uh, this shape, I think I'm going to change because if I go this way, it will probably be better. But I'm not sure, so I'll be checking that because I made in the past some smaller uh, uh, harmonic drives. But when I did this jump, it was like uh, not moving uh, perfectly, but like more like jumping every step. It was like jump, jump, jump uh, through this one rotation. So I'm not sure if this. Uh, some kind of angle cause it or maybe it be, it was because it was very small the, the, the like the second harmonic drive i made was the sizes of this motor 
and this motor is like 56 uh, millimeters diameter so not not very big but and the uh, flex flex shaft uh, flex spline didn't have much space to move so probably it was because of it yeah. so it is like this yeah with the printed parts just in like in the movie and with the motor which i will be doing in the future so what i have here is a lead shine servo motor which i will be using in the future with this uh, harmonic drive but uh, i'm still working on the movement of this uh, motor as i'm not able to make it spin fast enough from the arduino I will be checking why, checking why is that. Uh, really great motor, better than stepper motors. Probably I will use it in some kind of a six axis robots in the future. Um, disadvantage is that it's very expensive, also with the driver. Uh, so maybe in the further future. Uh, it would, would be nice to use those in the 3D printers as they are really quiet, every, every move, not depending on the uh, speed, it's really quiet in, uh, comparing to the stepper motors. So maybe in the future videos you will see some connection of those two 